2 Corinthians chapter 3 starting from verse 12 to 18 to solve my order. Therefore, since we have such hope, we are such we use great boldness of speech. And like Moses, who put a veil over his face so that the children of Israel could not look stiffly at the end of what was passing away. But their minds were blinded, for until this day the same veil remained unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament, because the veil is taken away in Christ. But even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil lies on their hearts. Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we, but we all, but we, but we, but we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as the Spirit of the Lord. This is the word of God. Praise God. My topic this morning was maturity or Christian maturity, growing from one level of glory to the next. Unakuwa kutoka pahali unikuwa, unaenda to the next level, ukitoka hiyo level ingine, especially the last verses it was read to us, at we grow from one glory, from one level of glory to the next. Now, here, as Christians, tunawonyesho ya kwamba, tunakuwa, we continue being Christ-like. Tunayendelea kuwa kama Kristo, mwenyewe vile alikuwa akiwa hapa duniani. Na iyo neno, ni neno, ikona mambo, matatu sana, na penda kuyawongea. Na, neno ya kwanza, ni kitu inaitwa ya kutumia akili zetu kwa mambo yale tunakutana nayo using our common senses na niseme hiyo si ya kwanza ya kutumia common sense jana nilikuwa kwa shamba nikilima na nikakumbuka jeo jambo nilifanya nikiwa mtoto jambo si kutumia common sense nilikuwa nalima jana kwa shamba jioni kitu za kumi hivi. Na nikakumbuka siku moja mama yangu naye alikuwa analima kuma saa kama hayo. Na akienda kwa shamba alikuwa ameacha ameniambia, "Mama, wabu, alalia ni kwa nje wa kuini. Wabuina ndio ka kole, udhabiti ido uhatete. Sana sana tulikuwa tuhapoeto, tudhabi ido tuhate na tukahemai. And we do such like things. Na kwa sababu nilikuwa mtoto mwerefu Nikuwa nafanya kazi yote nilikuwa ninapewa and then na nikienda to the other things. But mama yangu aliponisikia akiwa kwa shamba nikicheka na watoto hapo nje ya nyumba. Aligeuka akaniambia, "Wabuine ndika kwako na mboshi sio. Gwelile weke na dole." Na kwa sababu si kutumia common sense. Niliamka tu vile niliyajua ndika akoro. Nilikuwa tu nataka kusema ya kwamba shetani ana angalia na mambo vile tunafanya ati ni atura ka hale bosu tuna maudu mali atureka ni darura ka mambu na warari ma alimena mwoda la ashiga na alele kia wera la ashiga na na niliposikia natoka kwa shamba awalia dee ni wodi ka wale mushi yoshi odi o nilifanya ni katoroka hapo nyuma ya nyuma ya kukulikuwa na mutaro ilikuwa ya inapiti tari kuwe na mbura ni haki ya ni haki ya raga kiku Dadire mutaro ini yoshio the comment of the jeri wali mamu dakakore mushi. And I did not use my common sense. Demo ere atiri. Mami ni uko jete da bido. Ne da bidi ya ne hatire. Ni no kudaka kudaka kapata hadano all these things. I did not use my common sense. Na iyo jambu ni kuambiwa ni kuja ni ongea. Asubuhi nisa hile ni pata message ya kuja kuongea. Ni kakubuka iyo jambu. Ati sana sana kwa kristo tunakosa kutumia akilizeti. Ukikutwa kwa jambo, 
unafanya tu mambo kwa kigafra nilipolala kwa hiyo mtaro dakika kadhaa mama yangu alipotokea kwa shamba kaitana wa huyu wa boy si kuitika nilikuwa na uoga kwa sababu niliambiwa nisikute kwa nyumba na wakanitafuta na wakanitafuta mpaka majirani wakaadua nimepotea na niko tu just next to the house so ulipofika kitu saa saa tatu saa nne hivi wakasema washa tumwangalie kwa hiyo mtaro ukweli si kwa najua kwenda kuingine na sure enough niliposikia wananitafuta kwa mtaro nilikuwa nataka sasa kuvuka the other side ya limba hapo tu kwa mtaro wakasikia para 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 wakaangalia wakanikuta nikashukuliwa na nikarudishwa kwa nyumba nataka kusema aje we as christians tukiendelea kukua tusiwe watu wa kuambiwa mambo na tukisikia hiyo mambo we cannot take an extra mile to think beyond what we hear kristo alikuja akakuta wanafunzi wakiwa kwa hekalu na ile kazi walikuwa wanafanya ni kazi baya na Kristo alitoa kiboko na akawatoa kwa kanisa na akaambia endeni. Na watu wale wako ndani ambao wanaweza kusema ama kufikiria Yesu alifanya makosa kwa sababu ya kuachapa. But Jesus Christ used his common sense. Akaona hawa ni watu wanafanya dhambi kwa kanisa, kwa hekalu. Na wewe kama mwanafunzi na wewe kama Mkristo unakuwa What do you do? Ama how do you react? Ukikutana na mambo duniani ama maishani. Always use an extra common sense. Don't just go with the motion. Ama kuanza to see the negative side of the coin. Always be positive. And when we get positive, na tuogeshi ragi tuwe kama utu na tuka hoya gaya tuhe uhoroshi wako kudhagira. Our common senses, we shall surely excel. Kwa sababu Yesu alifikiria na akaona hawa wanafanya biashara kwa kanisa nitawatoa. Akatumia kiboko na wakawatoa nje. Wewe kama mtu unaombaga mtu Mungu akupatie nafasi. Kana akuhe kama weke, na akuhe kama weke kauli. Ni ukatumage na naji ile ya waagizi ile kutumira. It is my prayer that Mungu atatusaidia kuwa tunatumia akili yetu kwa mambo yanatukuta duniani kama wa Kristo. Na diposa, when we do these things, Kristo ataonekana akifanya kazi maishani mwetu. Kuna kuwa kana kitu ingine inaitwa compulsion. Kitu unafaa kufanya. Huyu anafaa kufanya. It is a must that you should do this thing. Jonah akatumwa aende ni leve na akakata na wewe umetumwa kufanya hii na ile ingine umetumwa kama wakati huu kuombea kanisa kuombea wachungaji kuhudumu kwa mambo tofauti tunakutana nayo when the voice of the lord tells you this should be done this should be said do you obey to it mambo ile unafaa ni lazima uifanye how do you go about it niombi ra yangu ya kwamba Paul in the first missionary journey walikuwa wanafanya kazi with the other with the other Christians na walipokuwa wakifanya ilikuwa ikifika wakati wanakosa kuelewana na wengine kama vile uh, Paul walishindwa kuelewana na Barnabas na waliposhindwa kuelewana na Barnabas though they were supposed to preach the good news of God though they were supposed to preach the good news concerning Christ Paul was wise enough though he was supposed to preach aliona ni vyema waachane na Paul uh, Paul waachane na Barnabas kila mtu aende aende zake lakini wote wakafanye kazi ya Mungu na tunasikianga ya kwamba in Acts chapter number 2 ah sorry Acts chapter chapter number 15 Acts 15 verses number that 8 hapo tunaona vile vile Paul
waliachana na mwenzake na, na mwenzake Barnabas kila mtu huyu akaenda na huyu huyu akaenda na huyu na kazi ya Mungu ikaendelea but how committed are we to agree to whatever differences we may have because kuna sisi nikifikiria hata hii ndio jambo inafaa kufuatwa if Harrison tells a different opinion i think that Harrison is doing a wrong thing no can you know that we are compelled and it is compulsory some things must be done but when we are doing these things how do we go about it let us allow the spirit of god to work in us to be able to move us from one level of glory to the next niendelea kusema the three c's are i use my common sense am i doing the right thing if i'm faced in a situation how do i handle it out then there are those things the spirit compels me to do for me to mature and for me to show christian maturity do i follow them out and the third thing the third c is those things i am supposed to do am i committed to do them kabisa am i the commitment you have kama wewe kama mzazi how committed are you to the things and and as a christian what commitments do you have to doing god's work kama wewe kama mkristo what commitments do you have na ni vyema kujua ya kwamba when you are committed to doing god's work lili ya gaya otaithia na waagea na hinya wa kuta bila wa gai how committed are you to do that work the commitments we get may differ and the commitments we do or we have for us may be different but the good thing is that so long as we are committed to doing God's work God will always come and protect you God will always come and protect you and when God protects you you shall grow from one level of glory to the next you shall grow from one level of glory to the next and it is ni mungu anayetujua ni mungu anaotuona na ni mungu aliyetukabidhi hii uhai so my prayer this morning is as we grow from one level of glory to the next gayale tutaidia tukule kuma wana tobo damu yake then what diga go kore ku na tondo diale na that time i was not mature enough wewe ni mambo gani umekuta inafaa wewe uingilie na ufanye na unakosa kufanya because you are not mature enough but when you grow and when you become mature utaendelea kuona this is what i am supposed to do jesus christ akawaambia nyinyi tokeni kwa hekalu edeni na mpointi ni dhabi gapi unaona ikitendwa na unanyamaza Mungu anakwambia even if and nyoro is doing this don't do it because it is wrong but nafikiria kwa sababu and nyoro is doing it hata mimi nitaifanya it is my prayer that you and me shall ask God na tutaomba Mungu atusaidie kuona mambo in the right way na vile tunaona mambo in the right way atupatie nguvu ya kusifuatilia na tukisifuatilia tutapata baraka zake being moved from one level of glory to the next the name of God the Father Son and the Holy Spirit